most guys are trying to play it safe. They're not making sexual jokes. They're not being physical because they think that it's gonna be like a safer play where they are like putting themselves out there less and they have less to lose, etc. But actually, it's gonna hurt you because then when you go to be physical later or sexualize things later, it's gonna come out of nowhere and it's gonna be like a big spike. What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I'm here with my lovely Brazilian lady. Today we're gonna to talk about uh, physically escalating, okay? So we showed in a different video with the opening stuff. Okay, let's demonstrate the opening again. So she's here, I wanna to talk to her. I'm gonna say hi, can I meet you real quick? I'm John, nice to meet you, what's your name? Mm, baby. <laughs> <laughs> baby, yeah we haven't made an official name for her yet for the channel. <laughs> yeah, that's it, so like, show it again. Mm -hmm. So I come in usually, I, I put, Left hand to left hand, and then a hand on their side, and I say, okay, I want to meet real quick. If they're like a little bit like, so like, come in okay. a little bit, oh. like back off a little bit. Okay. Oh, I just want to meet you. What's your name? Mm. Sorry, friends come in. Mm -hmm. Hey, sorry, I just want to meet meet your friend. What's your name? Blah, blah, blah. Bring your, your wingman in to the friends, etc. When we go to isolate, okay, when, when, I, when I take her away from the group to go over near the bar or something like this, I'm going to take her by the hand or when I'm pulling. And then I club. I'm gonna take by the hand. Whenever you're moving the girl through the club, you wanna walk holding your hand like this, okay? If I'm walking to a different part of the club, walking, holding your hand like this, with me in front. For makeout stuff, when we're in isolation, I'm sure I don't fucking fall off the balcony. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> when we're in isolation, I'm usually holding them in like this. Mm -hmm. I have like a hand around their back. We're like talking like this. Mm -hmm. and, I no and I notice a lot of times, when I make a sexual joke, okay, any kind of like sexual verbalization, a lot of times I escalate physically at, at those points. So I'll say like, like say we're talking, we're talking like we're up against, up against the bar, and I'm like, that's what she said. Like making a joke with that, I'll be like, haha, like that, <laughs> lean in, I like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. What other feedback do you have from like, from a woman's point of view on, in terms of how to escalate and be physical? I think it should be like constantly, you know, it should be like step by step. Not like rushing to the end because this can be like kind of scary. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's a good point. So um, a, a really solid set of escalation is it, you know face scan like this. It's like as if it was like a solid slope the whole time. So like you're you're incorporating like light physicality with touching on dates and stuff too. You're incorporating like little pokes on their side, like taking their hand, throwing it away, touching on their side here, this and that. Eventually, you get into kissing. In the cab, you'll have like an arm around the girl, you'll be making out, etc. But it's this huge, like smooth, gradual thing. The reason where uh, last minute resistance comes from, LMR as they call it, is because there's like a spike. Like the guy will like be like playing it safe, having a normal conversation, normal conversation, platonic conversation, and then they get back home, and then he goes to start making moves, and it's like a little bit off from the frame that he set before. All right, we are back with more lighting now. Okay, so. Um, let's recap some things again, right? So on the open, I typically, like in a daytime approach, I'll say like, hey, I want to meet you real quick, what's your name? Mm -hmm. This and that. In a, night, in a night game approach, I'm a lot more physical, so I'll say like, hey, I want to meet you, what's your name? Mm -hmm. And if the girl's like like receptive, like when I first come in like that, like if she, if I'm like, hey, like I want to meet you real quick, you can, you can like kiss them if they're open to that. There's the whole traditional doggy dinner bowl look or the um, anime eyes. Right, where the girl is just like telegraphing that she's interested in kissing. What if the guy, like, what if you have, what if the guy comes in and you are like looking close but he doesn't like make a move? It's gonna be kind of weird, right? Yeah. So it's so. like naturally, like, you know, like naturally you fell apart, right? You yeah. get apart. So you should, you should make moves like when you have opportunities to do so. Um, otherwise, it's gonna seem weird. Most guys are trying to play it safe. They're not making sexual jokes. They're not being physical because they think that it's gonna be like a safer play where they are like putting themselves out there less and they have less to lose, etc. But actually, it's gonna hurt you because then when you go to be physical later or sexualize things later, it's gonna come out of nowhere and it's gonna be like a big spike, right? Mm -hmm. Rather than this, yes. this it's gradual really process. Bad. So like, mm -hmm. I, I talk to a lot of guys where they don't even like go for a kiss until they're back at the house with the girl, um, and then at that point, it's just. It's just kind of coming out of nowhere and she's gonna be like, whoa, whoa, what's this? Because what has happened, she's cemented in her mind as like a platonic exchange. She's cemented it as we're just friends, etc. All right, we'll do another one. Like, like if you're like standing at the bar, like you're standing here at the bar, there's a bar right here. Mm -hmm. I come up at the bar. I'll be like, hey, I wanted to meet you, what's your name? 
arm around the back. Like, don't be afraid to touch the girl, okay? Like, there's the whole notion of calibrating after the fact. So just assume she's gonna be receptive to the physicality. That doesn't mean, like, you know, go up and, like, fucking grab her tits or, or shit like that. Um, <laughs> oh my god. Should we demonstrate that? Um, <laughs> but basically, mm. basically, you wanna just keep moving things forward, and then if the girl's, like, offended, then you're like, oh, sorry, like, I just wanna meet you, what's your name? And you take a step back. But you should be building the physicality all throughout the whole night game interaction, throughout the date with the light physicality, light touching, this and that, and eventually into kissing and making out and then into sex. And there's a whole proper escalation sequence. We'll make a separate video on that um, for back at the house. That'll be probably one of my most valuable videos. We'll do the whole proper escalation sequence once you're back at the house with a girl, mm -hmm. which we normally can't film on hidden camera, but we can film with you. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe below if you have not already and also click the link for a free 30 minute call where I can talk about my mentorship program with you, the 8 week mentorship to make you very advanced. The link is in the description for that. Thank you guys for watching. Thank and we'll you. See you on the next video. Bye. Take care. Yep. Bye. <laughs> Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.